Before you record your slideshow, there are a few things that you'll want to do. First of all, make sure that you've installed the Screencastify extension, and it will be right here in the upper right. And then click it once and go through the setup process. It's, it's a very short, simple process where you have to allow a few things and connect it to your Google account. After you've done that, make sure that you have your slideshow open that you're going to present. I'll use this one as an example, and as you can see, it's in Google Slides. Then, before you actually record, make sure that you've practiced. Go through each slide and make sure you know exactly what you're going to say when you record. When you're ready to present, I usually click Present once just to have it load up, and then I press Escape just to exit it. That helps it to start up a little faster, I've noticed. And then, when you're actually ready to record, go up and click on that Screencastify icon again. You'll see these options. Make sure your microphone's on and that you are recording the desktop. That means it'll record your entire screen. And when you're ready, click Record. That will bring up these options. If you have only one screen, then it'll be obvious that you'll want to pick that screen. But here you can see I have my screen extended. So I will pick this one and then as soon as you click share it's going to do a countdown and then it will start recording what I try to do in that countdown time is go up and start the presentation while it's counting down so I'll do that three two one now it's recording my screen and if I was actually doing this I would talk through my presentation just like I normally do I'll click to the next screen and you can see this one has some tools that fade in so we'll see if that records exactly that same way in a minute when I stop this. So you'll talk through each one of your slides. Then when you're done, you can press Escape. And then down here you can click Stop Sharing. Sometimes this isn't visible, and if that's the case, you can also stop sharing by clicking on the Screencastify icon in the upper right, and then you'll see a Stop button. But I'll stop that. Now it's recording my screen and if I was actually doing you can see that as soon as you're done it starts playing what you recorded in a new tab showing you your video. So let's go to that part where I had the icons fade in. Let's just see how that looks. And you can see this one has some tools that fade in. So we'll see if that records. So you get the idea. It records everything that you had on the screen. You can change the name of it here if you want. And what's nice about this, if you go back to Google Drive, it actually saves right to your drive. So I could turn it in through Classroom or get it to my teacher any other way as usual with a file in Google Drive. 